Welcome back to my tag gaming and ultimate general American revolution. Sending Washington and Arnold to swap position or Livingston and Arnold to swap positions and sending the bulk of our forces to Hartford. Okay, abandoned property, uh, negative three in New York. I think we still got to take this uh, to build up our financial resources here the map may have gotten a little larger uh, looks like the french and creeks got a little bit better the british and the miamis got a little worse and the french and spanish got a little worse in their relations a uh, group of iroquois leaders from various tribes convened to discuss the unfolding conflict between the american colonies and the british crown they consider whether to maintain neutrality support the british or form alliances with the colonists now, they're asking us to give up 400 muskets and 13 ammunition. I can't do that right now. Okay, indeed, the territory has expanded. We have captured Quebec for 25 uh, reputation, 25,000 gold, and 100 wood. Capture Montreal for 25, uh, 25 reputation, 20,000 gold, and 30 furs. I also just noticed we now have a garrison up here. Uh, I don't think we have a chance at all to hold this. So I'm going to delete this. We're going to get our muskets uh, and some of the recruits back and leave that to the British. Uh, they have Quebec, Trois Rivers, uh, Montreal. Lake Champlain is now complete. I'm going to send Arnold north. I just want to check some things out. Uh, while our forces are reconstituting... In Hartford, I'm going to send Livingston out. We are 19 days away from the Continental Army. At 4,200 at Leicester. Okay, they may be marching out. Providence is empty. Newport is empty. There's only 600 men even close. I see Rhode Island in our future. Okay, we're running low on muskets. But it looks like most of our forces are back into good shape. Okay, where did the British go? Are they going towards Hatfield or Fort Rice? Okay, they're going towards Hatfield. So let me get our general back down. We're going to build up a force and go after them. Oh, dissolving of alliance. It has been reported that the Miamis and Iroquois have decided to dissolve the groundbreaking alliance they had formed earlier in the year. So their relations are now neutral. Phantom Trader's Proposition. 113 Charleville 66s for 3,000 gold. If that was a full unit, I might go for this, but we don't even have the 3,000 gold. Okay. Oh. Doesn't look like we have a battle anymore. Actually, a lot of the British units are not involved in this. It's only going to be... About 2,000. We have way more than that. So let's give battle. Okay, let's get our commander up here with our units. Three artillery. I'm actually going to... British are in front of us. They should be receiving reinforcements. But I'm going to send... I have our... Minutemen rush forward. Oh, and they retreated. Okay. We're going to rush forward, seize these supplies. Send our general over to our right flank. Because they seem to be marching north. If I can... Oh, this is tempting. I'm going to get these guys out of... Uh, march them... All right, we got something. We're going to go after Lesta. Okay, confiscated cargo. It's going to give us worse loyalty in New York. I need more loyalty. Okay, it looks like the British are hobbling together some forces. Wouldn't be surprised if they end up at Fort Rice or something like that. The committee of Frederick County, Virginia, unanimously chose Officer Daniel Morgan to form one rifle unit and become its commander. Morgan marched his marksmen 600 miles to Boston, Massachusetts in 21 days, 
arriving today, August 6, 1775. Morgan's Rifles Project is available in the headquarters. Let's take a quick gander at that. 13 days on Continental Army, and it's going to take, is that 60 days to get Morgan? That's probably what we'll end up going for next, but I'm going to let that play out for 13 days. Army is getting into position. Conditions recovering. Let's go after Lesta. Oh, they're coming out to meet us. James Wallace Raids. Royal Naval Officer Sir James Wallace, commander of the HMS Rose, has plundered valuable provisions and hay from Prudence Island, Rhode Island. According to intelligence reports, he is planning additional raids along the coast of Rhode Island and Connecticut. We're going to take this battle. So we do have artillery pieces. I'm going to move them forward. I'm going to get skirmishers up front. I'm going to pull our best troops just behind the artillery. I'm going to line everything else up. So that the militiamen get to hang in there for a second. So we're going to confront them. Oh, they have a lot of troops over here now. Let our artillery and our guns do the work. Setting our more regular troops behind the line, sort of a Guilford Courthouse cowpens situation. Okay, if they're going to charge us with... Ah, they're rangers. Okay. Yeah, we got a couple casualties inflicted. Keep spreading these guys... I'm going to let our hold our regulars back. I'm going to need more troops over here. You gentlemen, I'm going to line up right here, which seems to be their thickest. At least we have ammunition going into this fight. Move up and get some shots on them. Wish our artillery could do be a little bit more accurate. Okay, you two, I'm going to combine. Yeah, as our militias uh, fall back, that's when I'm going to start combining the units. And I'm going to march them over to our right. Let's 
coming a little heavier to our favor right now. Try and aim our artillery at their largest units. Skirmishers again. Let's get these two guys joined up. Oh, I need you guys to not run towards them. Okay, let's get our skirmishers uh, further over. Oh. Actually, let's get our skirmishers engaging their skirmishers. So... They're just sending their rangers around wide flanking maneuvers at the moment. Let me get you guys merged up. Send you guys over here. Let's go ahead, kind of fit you guys maybe right there. Okay. Now let's get some of our regulars engaged. So melee six, firearms five. So these guys have pretty good melee. Oh, stop with the friendly fire, guys. I'm going to combine these two units and send you guys forward to fire on them. Uh, let's see here. Get, yeah, get you guys linked up. Anybody else falling back? Uh, skirmishers, we're... We haven't even... We've done four casualties to them. Okay, I'm going to get that unit over here. You guys need time to recover. You guys need time to recover. Aiming the cannons at whoever's got the most men left. And I'm hoping they get a little closer so we can get some canister off here. Okay, at least we got some casualties in on their rangers over here. You guys need to fall back. Get you two linked up. Not exactly sure what's blocking you. All right, come on. Canister, canister. Right into their grenadiers. Come on. Let's see it. Yes! Oh, 
yes. That was a thing of beauty. Okay, yeah, let's pull back these guys. They're, they're taking some casualties. Actually going to move... Some units in. Begin to put some shots out. All right, you guys, you fall back. Um, you guys, yes. And combine you guys. All right, and then you are gonna shoot at him. You are going to shoot at him. And if I can get you guys over here. You guys shooting at them. At least we caused some casualties. Artillery. I got a 116 over here. I got a 104. Yeah, you guys keep shooting at him. Definitely winning this. I'm not sure this is our best performance. Our artillery is just devastating when it actually gets lands on them. Okay. Um, 303. I'm going to send you guys over here, too. One lone flag bearer over here. You guys get in. You guys stand behind. Right, finally ran that unit off. Right, get you guys into the woods. Keep up the fire. They've all been run off. Let's go after these guys. I don't want to get too far of our out in front of our position. I need our units to route the other way if they're going to route. Yeah, let me actually send these guys over here. General, if you'd be so kind. Okay, let's charge in with those guys. Oh. Route, can I get the shatter? Come on, guys. Oh, we got to surrender. Surrender over here. I don't know. No idea what's blocking you guys. Okay. So we won that. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if standing and fighting is necessarily our strong suit. But with superior numbers, we were able to take out 1,400 of the British. Yeah, let's get in here. Let's capture... Lester and the the uh, leftover supplies here. Let's see a bunch of weapons. Up to two hundred ninety-seven brown buses. 
That's good. All right, let's seize Lester. I'm going to send the general out. Let's see what Boston's got. 3,000. And a bunch marching south. Yeah, let's, let's go after Providence. Um, I'm going to stick Robert's Pennsylvania Militia in Leicester. Just to keep an eye on it. Okay, we've begun an engagement. We need all of our troops involved in this one. Oh, we got a donation of 2,000 gold. That's nice. Okay, let's see if they'll give us battle. All right, first line is falling back. Need to combine some of these units because they are depleted. So are the British, heavily depleted. And they are marching straight towards our guns, which I am okay with. All right, we got a shatter right off the bat. Yep, I need you guys actually to fall back. Yeah, in this case, they seem so depleted. I am just going to charge in. We got another shatter. And it's they're not gonna stay on this field very long. Looks like three shatters now. See if I can get to their artillery. Oh, we actually got to their rangers. We're routing them. Okay. Okay, so this is a much better battle. Took out about half of them. All right. Negotiations in the shadows. Secret negotiations unfolded in the dimly lit rooms of colonial taverns. The Phantom Trader, draped in a cloak of secrecy, met with a trusted representative of the Continental Army. The smuggler proposed a deal. A discreet exchange of European muskets in return for gold, silver, and promises of safe passage for the silent exchange's operatives. If I had 3,000, I would do it. Okay, can we... Rush in. Okay, they're actually falling back to Newport. This is better than I could have expected. Um, I need... I need these guys to start capturing some of this stuff. And Reynolds take Newport. They're actually running towards Hartford. Oh, come on. Give me these two. Okay... At this point, we are... If I can destroy these units... Yep, we got Ayer, Osborne. It's almost done. Come on, surrender, guys. Surrender! Yep, stay there. Uh, we're chasing Ayer... <laughs> into the Atlantic Ocean. We have Rhode Island. Okay, let's get... We got more weapons there. Let's get you guys actually... Yeah, you head to Leicester. You guys head up here if you can. Um, this unit is pretty much done. I'm going to move him out. Get him up to Providence. Let's get all you guys into the garrison. Yeah, do we have Newport? Let's send... They're actually... running across the Atlantic Ocean. That I did not expect. Alright, let's get the commander north so I can see what's going on. Alright, 
right, they have sent quite a bit over here. Don't know what I have to counter that with. Uh, here's a thousand. We join them up and march them to Hubberton if we can. I don't know if we're going to make it in time. Might be best. Uh, hold on. What's our supply line? Okay, so Hubberton would not break anything. Let's actually... You guys go there. You guys exit. And head to Fort Rice. Come on. Oh, I don't have them. Okay, they're taking Hubberton. I'm going to pull Arnold down here so we can see if they're heading towards Rice. It's only 300. We can probably take that back pretty easily. What's this? Conflict of loyalties. British officers have personal connections or ties to the colonies. They might face a conflict of loyalties. They choose to change sides to support their homeland. 14 something. Okay, we're three days from Continental Army. This is just going to be all the captures. Oh, are we not producing muskets anymore? That's not good. Yeah, let's get uh, get on the ammo production. Let's see where we are. 600, 500 brown passes. So that little offensive really helped. Okay, let's send Livingston this way. Let's see what's going on. They, are, they almost look like they're heading north. You guys... You guys fell back to Fort Saratoga. That's fine. 703,000. Enemies still located near the city. Okay, let me see what's going on at Newport. Now that we have Rhode Island and more Western Massachusetts. Uh, let's see here. We can get more money. We decrease uh, loyalty in Rhode Island. I don't, don't have the loyalty to give them. And 1,200 British uh, established... In response to intelligence about Continental Army plans to invade the northern colonies, the British establish a fortified defensive line along key northern routes. The reinforcements, both troops and supplies, are sent to defend critical locations such as Albany and Fort Ticonderoga. We already have both of those locations. So sorry to tell you that. Get out. See if we can claim these supplies. Come on. Ah! Too late. Okay. We need some reinforcements for sure. We're out of money. What can I do for money? I have a lot of cannon. I'm not planning on... Let, yeah, let's sell... There's 300. Let's get rid of... And we can do... I believe five guns is a full uh, artillery battery. So maybe we hold off on selling the six-pounders. The naval guns, I, I don't have space or the money for any sort of navy right now. Rum. Yeah, let's sell the rum. Resources. So wood and iron are used for the muskets. Copper and coal and coal and saltpeter for ammunition and the guns. I'm going to keep building that unrated cutter. We do have three unrated cutters in storage. Which would give us 5,000 gold. I'm going to sell them. We're going to keep producing these things. I'm going to sell them. That's kind of what I have to do to get money. So we can uh, build up our fort. Build our forces back up. Okay. While we're building up. Just going to keep an eye on everything here. Still 700 at Middlesbrough, 3,000 at Boston, which we could attack with about 3,000. Fusiliers! We can now create regular infantry regiments with Fusilier and Field Artillery Companies. You can elaborate more projects so more company types become available for your infantry regiments, like skirmishers, elite infantry, howitzers, mortars, etc. 
The re a regiment with a good mix of company types is more efficient in battle than a regiment containing one type of companies. Okay, in the headquarters, uh, we have raised funds. I'm going to go with Morgan's Rifleman first. Looks like that's going to take 58. I am going to pull these guys out of Newport and send them up to Providence. Just so I can keep them in our aura. Now that we have that, let's see what our infantry regiment looks like. We have no guns <laughs> to give them at all. So it doesn't look like anything. Okay, we have almost 4,000. We are out of guns to further reinforce. All right, I'm going to end the episode there. I think you know what we're setting up for on the next episode, though. And that is going to be a push to Boston. We outnumber them by a thousand. The cavalry is probably what scares me the most about Boston. We also are going to need to deal with Bork heading towards Fort Saratoga. That should be easy enough to send a thousand from Ticonderoga south. And we'll have dealt with that fairly easily. But thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. Thank you very much. Have a great day.